Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we are in tutoring. Hello. We're going to work on division. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we're going to work on division. I've got my trusty helper here, Taylor. She is a wonderful, highly intelligent young lady that's going to be helping me as we move through the day today. You waited till I started to ask for things? Yeah. Man. Children can be insane. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with a few easier problems. No, I'm just saying easier. We're going to start with 84 divided by 6. 84 divided by 6. So while you're working that on your board or paper or whatever you're working on at home, however you choose to do 84 divided by 6, well, good. And you can make mmming noises. I don't know why they would, but they do. So as I've told you many a time, it's very beneficial for you to list the multiples. Oh. Now if you have a multiplication chart, if it's a one digit divisor, it's pretty easy, but if I go six times one is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18, six times four is 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, and see I just list these, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 9 is 54. Riley Hill, if you're in the building, please meet your ride by the office. Riley Hill, meet your ride by the office. So now I have to go and write this correctly. 84 divided by 6. The number you say first is your dividend. The number that goes on the inside. Our divisor is 6. I am only putting one number in my quotient at a time. I don't want to see anybody going, well, 6 goes into 84, 6, and then just keep trying to count up to 84 by 6s because that will make me want to I don't want to say throw a chair at you because that would be too extreme that will make me want to be annoyed and so what we're going to do is we're going to look and I'm going to ask Daniel Daniel can 6 go into 8 say yes Daniel yes because 8 is greater than 6, so that means 6 can go in there. So, Daniel, I look at my multiples of 6 over here. And looking in these multiples here, I want to get as close to 8. So I'm gonna, It's going to go into 8. I'm going to have a two-digit quotient. And so 6 is the multiple that is closest to 8. And that's 6 times 1. So if I do 6 times 1, I get 6. And then I have to subtract. So Daniel, what is the difference between 8 and 6? Okay, but how much? 2. two. So I put the 2. This all has to be aligned right here. We need to make sure what our number goes above. Because I'm taking this 6 into just the 8 right here. Now I bring down the 4. And I'm taking this 6 into 24. So Daniel, once again, I go over to my list of multiples. 6, 12, 18, 24. Which is closest to 24 without being bigger than 24? 24. 24. Which is 6 times 4. <coughs> and 6 times 4 is 24. We don't have a remainder. So our answer is simply 14. But once, about 36 years ago, Cheyenne told me she wants me to make sure I check my work because she doesn't trust me. 
teachers make mistakes sometimes. And so, Cheyenne, how did you tell me I need to check my work? Uh, multiply 14 times 6. Good, I'm going to multiply my quotient times my divisor. So I'm going to multiply 14 times 6. And Cheyenne, if I did my math right here, what should my answer be here? My, it should be 84. 6 times 4 is 24. 4, 2, 6, 7. And it is. Very good. Cheyenne. You gotta call her the M&M. Blue M&M. Okay, so that's a pretty easy one. But what happens when we have bigger divisors? So let's look at another problem. Mm. Let's make it not incredibly hard. Medium size. All right, tell me a four-digit number, Shania. Thirty-five. Yeah, Thirty-four. And what? Um, you said a four-digit. Six. Yes. Three thousand four hundred six. And um. Kendall, give me a number between 11 and 13. 12, good. So we have the problem 3,406 divided by 12. What I want you to do first is I want you to list all of your multiples of 12. And then we'll work on solving this problem. So I'm going to pause it for those here in the classroom and... You at home can pause it, and then when it unpauses, they'll go over that some more. And we're back. Shania, we have listed all our multiples of 12, as have you, and as have the people watching at home around the world. And Shania, I need to ask you a question. Shania, does 12 go into 3, Shania? No. I am not going to have a number above the 3. I am not. No, 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 no. No number above the three. Now, Shania, yeah. is 12 going to be able to go into 34? Yes. Yes. Which means my quotient is going to be a three-digit number. Thank you so much. I'll put it in there. Okay. You're awesome. Is going to be a three-digit number. So, Shania, I am taking 12 into 34, meaning I go over here. I look at my list of multiples for 12. I find the one closest to 34 without going over, and you get 2. Because 12 times 2 is 24. 3 is too big because 12 times 3 is 36. So 24 is gonna, what I'm going to have here. So I'm going to have a 2 at the top as part of my quotient. 34 subtract 24 is what, Shania? 10. 10, good. <laughs> now I have to bring down the zero. Uh, I have to figure out how many times 12 goes into 100. Well, Shania, I go back over here, and I'm taking 12 into 100. It's going to go directly above this zero, because that's how it's lined up there. And I need to look at my list of multiples, Shania, and I need to get as close to 100 as I can without getting... Eight or eight it is, because that's 96. So eight times 12 is 96. And Shania, 100 minus 96 is? 96. Wait, no, no, no. 196. Oh, four. Four. What? Oh, she did addition. She did addition. Or you could just count up 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, it'll take 30 All right, so we have, now we brought down the 6. And Shania, I go back over here. I look at my trusty list of multiples of 12. I need to get as close to 46 as I can without going over. And what did you come up with? Three. Um, you said what number? As close to 46 as I can without going over. Three. Three. And 12 times three gives us 36. 
And Shania, 36 subtract, or 46 subtract 36 is? 10. 10. I was one remember. Now I have nothing else to bring down. So that means I have a remainder of 10. I have a remainder of 10. If I wanted to check this, which I'm not going to take the time to do it now, I would multiply 283 times 12, and then I would add 10, and I would want it to equal 3,406. And then it's actually going to work. And it's actually going to work. But as my young friend Cheyenne pointed out moments ago, using the calculator... Work with the remainder's not going to, the calculator won't give you the remainder. Because let me guess what it said. It said 283.3333333, right? Yeah, that's what yeah. Said. yeah. Yeah. Because if I added a decimal point here, okay, and we're just, we're just going off script here a little bit. So if I added my decimal point there, because it's there, that's the ones place, it's right in the back of the ones place. And I added another zero, because that doesn't change the value. 3,406 is the same as 3,406 and zero tenths. And I brought this down, I would have 100. And then I'd take 12 into 100, which would go three times again. And that would be 36 again, and it would be 96 again. And I'd keep subtracting. And I'm going to keep getting three, 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 what Cheyenne pointed out is that you cannot use a calculator and think you're going to use that to find the remainder. Not going to work. Now, there's an infinite number of threes. It would just go on forever. All right, so Liam, give me a four-digit number. One thousand two hundred sixty-three. All right, be back. Yes. Give me a number between fourteen and sixteen. Sixteen. No, between fourteen and sixteen. Oh. Twelve. Between fourteen and sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Good. 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 So now you're going to list your multiples of 15, which unfortunately are not on your multiplication table, so you're going to have to count. But let's just, let, 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 me, let, let, let me help you out here for a minute. So I know 15 times 1 is 15. 15 times 2, if I add 10 to 15, what do I get? 25. And then I add 5 more, I get? 30. So if you just take the number above it, add 10, and then add 5, you can just keep repeating that process. Add 10, add 5. Add 10, add 5. So I'm going to pause the video and let you all finish this. We'll be back. And we're back. As you'll notice, my class helped me list my multiples of 15. So I just did like... 15 plus 10 is 25, plus 5 more is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40, plus 5 more is 45. So I just added 10 and then 5 more. Added 10 and then 5 more to this. Just make it easier. I don't have to do 15 all at once. I can add 10 and then add 5. Six. Makes it pretty easy. So then I have... All right, Bassett, sit down. Calm down. You can go ahead and help me with this. Stop jumping around, Bassett. All right, let me ask you a question, though, Bassett. Bye, Taylor. Thank you. Bassett, does 15 go into 1? No. No. Bassett, does 15 go into 12? Uh, no. No. Bassett. Bassett, does 15 go into 
126. Yes. Good. My quotient is going to be two digit. <coughs> Daniel. Oh my God. Can I do the whole No, Bassett is. Did you not see him jumping up and down? He did a cartwheel just trying to get help. So. Yeah. All right, so Bassett, I'm taking 15 into 126. I go over here, Bassett, and I look at my list of multiples. I want to find the one closest to 126 without going over, and it is? Eight. Eight, because 15 times eight is 120. Bye. Bye-bye. So I have eight times 15. I don't even have to do the math because I've already done it. Eight uh -huh. times 15 is 120. Subtract 126. Subtract 120 is what, Bassett? Um, six. Six, good. 63. Then I bring down my next number, which is three. So Bassett, I'm going to go down. I need to get as close to 63 as I can get without going over. And I get to um, six. Four. four. Good. Oh. 15 times 4 is 60. So 4, I have 60. Subtract, and I get 3. However, if you did this, now you checked it with a, with a calculator, right, Cheyenne? And you got 84.5, right? Or no, you got 84.2, right? That's what we got. Let me see. Yeah. How did we get 84.2? That's a good question. Well, like I showed you on the last one, when you're dividing and there's a decimal in your dividend, all you have to do is move that decimal point up. I added that zero and it doesn't change the value. And it will forever now, so I have 30 divided by 15. So, Bassett, if I go over here, I want to get as close to 30 as I can without going over. And it's 15 times 2 is 30. So you would have gotten 84 and 2 tenths. Or 84 remainder 3. If you multiply 84 times 15, you would get... 1,260. Yes. And then you add the 3. Good. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to put four problems up on the board. If you would like to get the extra points and extra credit and allowing me to keep track of who turns in what, who does the extra credit, you'll do these four problems on your own. You will bring them back to me when you do it. If you want to work on them with your aunt, uncle, cousin, mom, dad, your airline pilot, what? the Girl Scout cookie sales lady, what? the Amazon deliverer, whomever, not quite yet. Let's that one do. So ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching at home, do these four problems. Show all your work for me, please, so that I know that you are paying attention and know how to do this. Boom, shakalaka, peace out, God bless, love you, do something kind, subscribe and save the bees.